Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the hinge and the rotor support. In this lecture we are going to talk about the practical use of the hinge and the rotor support. Most of the beam has the two types of the supports, either the hinge and the rotor support. The fixed support is also used in the construction of the reinforced concrete buildings. But here we just focus on the hinge and the rotor support. The hinge support is a type of support where it can resist the vertical load and also the horizontal, while the rotor support can only take the vertical load. It cannot take any horizontal load. If we consider any beam, let's consider this is any simply supported beam, and there is inclined load acting on this beam, so it will have two components, one will be this vertical and one will be this horizontal. So the vertical component will be divided between these two supports. So half load will be taken by this and half will be this. So it will be the vertical reaction from these two supports. But this horizontal load will only be resisted by this support Rx because this is a hinge support. While this is a roll support and roll support cannot take any horizontal load. So this was the basic of the hinge and roll support. Now where we can find their example practically. Let's consider this is this is in a column and this is another column and on top of this column we place any girder on beam or beam. We place any girder on our beam So, so when the girder or beam is placed on these two columns, when there is no connection between these two members, then these two columns will act as a roller support. Now, it will resist the beam load between these two supports. So, the load of the beam will be distributed between these two columns. So, this will be called as a roller support now. This column will be will act now as a roller support. Similarly, this column will also act as a roller support because this beam is not connected with this column through the reinforcement. We don't place any reinforcement between these two members. But first we construct the column and then we place the beam on top of these columns. So there is no connection between these two members. So that's why there will be only vertical resistance to this column to this beam and hence they will act as a roll support. Now where we can find the hinge support? Let's consider this is another example. Let's consider this is column, a vertical member are mostly called this column. This is a column and here is another co column and between these two columns we place a girder or beam here we place the beam or between these two columns so now we can see here that the horizontal load of this beam there may be wind load coming on this beam or maybe earthquake load but the horizontal load of the beam if this is a horizontal load coming on the beam so it will be transferred to this column and this column will be able to take this horizontal load so the horizontal reaction will be provided by this column it will be the rx while the vertical load or the sulfate of this beam will be distributed between this column and this column so ry and ry here so now this support can only take the vertical load so this will be called as a roller support again. While this support can take the vertical load as well as the horizontal resistance is provided by this portion of the column to the beam. So we call that this joint or this portion of the beam is known as the hinge support. So this is called as the hinge support. This column will be the hinge support while the other is the roller support. 
So the main purpose was to differentiate between these two types of the supports and where we use this practically. If we use the reinforcement of this beam inside the column, then we have another type of support we call is the fixed support. But we will discuss this fixed support in another lecture. Fixed support is created by the connecting the two structure members with one another through the reinforcement. So without reinforcement, we have the roller and hand support. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.